Where's the money, Nicola? Sturgeon told to come clean on £2.7 billion of unallocated UK cash. Questions have been raised over how the SNP spent £9.7 billion of union funding from the UK government, Scotland's Auditor General has warned. In his latest report on the impact of coronavirus, Stephen Boyle said the Scottish government had received an extra £9.7 billion to its budget of more than £40 billion during the 2020-21 financial year. He said the transparency around public spending from the Scottish government has become more difficult as governments work to rebuild the economy. Mr Boyle warned in the report that the COVID-19 pandemic had created financial management challenges for the SNP-led Scottish government. The Auditor-General made clear there had been more than 170 public spending announcements connected to COVID-19 and called on all levels of government to ensure the pandemic pound delivered value for money. As well as this, the report points out that up until the end of 2020, the SNP-led administration had only made £7 billion worth of spending announcements in response to the pandemic. Douglas Ross, leader of the Scottish Conservatives, said, I share the Auditor-General's concerns about the need for transparency and scrutiny around the so-called pandemic pound. He rightly identifies that SNP ministers have received an extra £9.7 billion from the UK government to help Scotland deal with the pandemic and people are entitled to know exactly how that is being spent. He also says the SNP's blizzard of 170 separate Covid spending announcements make the task of following the money complex and difficult. The SNP Finance Secretary needs to heed the Auditor-General's calls for transparency and tell people exactly how public money is being spent to aid Scotland's pandemic recovery. Rishi Sunak snubs Nicola Sturgeon as he ignores SNP and hands millions directly to Scots. Chief Secretary to the Treasury Steve Barclay said communities in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland will now all benefit from at least £800 million of investment by the UK government. The £4.8 billion from the levelling up fund will be used to boost regeneration across the UK. Councils will be given the money by the UK government which will be used for town centre and high street regeneration and local transport schemes, as well as cultural and heritage projects which will be delivered for the benefit of local people. It comes as the nationalists were accused of betraying local services after rejecting a Scottish Conservative demand for fairer funding of Scotland's councils. The plan would have given councils a guaranteed amount from the Scottish Government's budget each year. Following a debate on the motion today in Holyrood, the motion was amended to remove the Scottish Conservative demand despite getting backing from all opposition parties. Annie Wells, Scottish Conservative MSP for Glasgow, said, it's clear Scotland's councils get a rotten deal from the SNP government, which means the Scottish people are getting a bad deal too. Rishi Sunak has snubbed the SNP as a new financial fund will be given to Scots directly and not sent to the Scottish government, it can be revealed tonight.